So we're now going to do Pisces, okay? Um, so this is for the week beginning the 22nd of November, 2021. I'm Ali. My website is psychically.net. Um, so if you wanted a one-to-one -one reading, I can do those. Um, so you can just go and book through that. Okay, so, um, so we're going to see what's going on with Pisces now. Okay, so the beginning of the week is going to start off with feeling as if, um, you know, you're able to manifest um, more because it's going to be, un it's like um, coincidences where you have um, wished for something and then by the end of the day, something's turned up. Um, you're going to be feeling, you know, when you're kind of your jaw drops, you think that was funny, that was a coincidence. In the morning, I needed that. For instance, say if your hairdryer or something, um, you know, blows up or something. And then by the afternoon, evening, somebody gives you a hairdryer out of the blue, didn't even know that you needed one. So these uncanny, they're, they're coincidences that happen. Um, and you think this is from spirit. So these things can be actually manifested. So if you start to think about, um, you know, the things that you need in your life, um, you can then say, thank you, universe, for bringing this to me. Um, and say it before it's actually arrived, um, because what you're doing then is your, um, your, your. It's like whatever you believe to be happening will happen. Okay, so you can you can um, change the universal energy to suit you um, whilst doing that. Okay, so um, you've got the star card and the magician card. So the magician card, like I've just explained, is to do with coincidences. It's also to do with the fact that you are in control more of your life than you realize. So if you're in a bad mood, um, chances are you're more than likely to uh, break something, um, you know, drop something on the floor, um, stub your toe. Does that make sense? Bring about an argument with somebody who you wouldn't normally argue with. It's all because that energy is going out, that you're putting that energy um, out to the universe. The universe responds with mirroring it. Um, so if you're in a good mood, nine times out of ten you're going to have people around you who might be in a bad mood but you've just turned them um into a good mood energy so you know try it and see um and i bet you you'll be pleasantly surprised um there is a lot of challenges that you've got facing you pisces um around the beginning of this week um i feel that you're kind of taking on something that you wouldn't normally take on you're kind of going do you know what i'm gonna go for it I wouldn't normally, um, but I need a challenge. I need something that I can actually get my teeth into and actually do. This is part of my wish. It's part of what I wanted to do. Um, so now's the time. And I feel that this has also been manifested uh, into your life as well, because it has been part of your dreams. I can see you standing your ground and not backing down over something um, that is very important to you. Now, this is a conversation that you've had with somebody um, and they've wanted you to do something you've said no, um, or, you know, something has been happening. I don't really know. Back to sleep. Um, or that, you, you know, you feel very, very strongly about, okay? Um, so it is, it is saying that this time you are not backing down. This time it feels as if you're going to be the strong one, okay? Um, and, uh, and other people will be shocked by that. OK, the fact that you are not backing down this time. OK, by the middle of the week, we've got um, somebody in authority around you. This person is playing games and um, this could be a boss. This can be somebody who's being bossy. OK, whoever this is, is kind of um, making you feel intimidated. And that intimidation is not going to go down well with you. I do feel as if you are isolating your emotions. You're trying to pull away from um, this feeling of heaviness, okay, that's coming um, from this authority energy. Um, there is obstacles around you and you've got to decide how you're going to get past these obstacles, whether you're going to sidestep around them, whether you're going to go directly at them and hopefully this backs down. Um, either way, you are definitely being helped by the spirit world, by your loved ones in spirit, by you know, maybe your guardian angel, maybe your um, your spirit guides, okay? It could even be your power animal, 
your power animal might be an animal that is coming towards you. Say you've got a lion who is in your kind of um, your power animal pack. Um, in, this power animal might be kind of going, right, I'm going to roar until I get what I want. You know, I'm not going to be intimidated by this person in authority. OK, and uh, it, you know, part of you wants to kind of move away. Part of you wants to isolate yourself emotionally. Sometimes we need to say, keeping my emotions to one side. This is a, this is about right. This is about fairness. And I'm not going to back down. OK. So as we move on to the um, end of the week, the end of the week, we've got the high priestess energy. The high priestess is somebody who's very sure of themselves. It's like they're, um, they've, they're in tune with their higher self. They're in tune with their spirit guides. And they're able to give across um, philosophy. Um, it's like being able to say the right thing, um, even when sometimes you're usually tongue-tied. Um, this is kind of like saying something just came across and I was able to give the information out that I needed. OK, and it's like, thank you um, to my spirit guides and helpers. There is some anger around. The anger isn't necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes we need to get a little bit cross. Sometimes we need to kind of go, you know, I'm a feisty person here. And you're intimidating. So I still feel as if there's a lot of intimidation energy going on. Um, you know, there's something to do with worry about money. OK, because we've got the five of pentacles, um, which means, you know, financial um, loss or fear of financial loss. OK, but you have the world. OK, now the world doesn't come along. Um, these cards are the cosmic deck by Norbert Loesch. OK, if anybody's interested in these cards. Um, when I teach, these cards are the best cards, I believe, um, to learn. A brilliant first deck. Um, they've got all the astrology signs already in them. So, you know, just pointed that out. Um, so you've got the world card, which does indicate something amazing, something that you really, um, it's like I'm part of this universal energy and I'm not alone in standing up for myself. I'm going to join with other people. And this, this card, the world card means that everything is turning out the best way possible. Everything will turn out the best way um, possible for everybody. Okay, so if you can just hang on in there. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for Pisces. Okay, I'm just gonna gather the cards up and then we're gonna do Cancerians. Hmm. Let's change this. So a bit funny, my family, my um, youngest daughter is Scorpio. I'm Pisces and so is my mum. And my eldest daughter is Cancerian. So we're all water signs here. So we all deal with emotions and all deal with them differently. So but we're a very emotional family. There we go. So, Cancerians, let's have a look and see what's going on with you, okay, for um, this week, beginning the 22nd of November, 2021. Okay, so I'm just going to tune in to you. Oh, one card came flying out. I'll deal with that in a minute. Now, it's really bizarre because I've been doing some readings today. Um, I was doing them on YouTube, live on YouTube. So if you wanted to check out that video, you can see how I do my one-to-one -one readings. Obviously, I'm able to do them in a lot more detail um, when I tune into one person. With this, it has to be kind of a collective um, feel, you know, for all Cancerers and all Pisces and all Scorpios. Okay, so this card flew out. It keeps flying out with a lot of readings at the moment. Um, so this one can mean travel. It can mean everything moving. It can mean obstructions free as well. OK, you can see he's kind of like racing ahead. Nothing's going to hold him back. OK, think about the restrictions that we've all been going through. 
recently. Because that's a very good card if you're kind of thinking that that terms. So, um, you know, let's have a look and see what else is going to be happening with Cancerians. See another one, you've got the chariot, which is about racing ahead again. You know, we've got the black and white horses looking at things in pros and cons, um, having to make a decision, racing towards that decision, and then seeing whether I'm going to go in this direction or this direction. Okay, you add that to this, nothing stopping you. Um, that's pretty good um, combination of cards there. Okay, we've also got the sun which is happiness and brightness and things being really confidence building. Um, the sun's come out from it being very cloudy. We've also got my Libran card. This is what I mean about the cosmic deck. They've got the symbols there for you. So this is the sign for Libra. Let's see if I can get it in a line. But anyway, so you've got the Libra sign there, Prince, Prince uh, King of Swords. So... Um, this is where you're feeling, this is how I feel that, you, that everybody's feeling. They're having to um, dissect things. It's like trying to understand what is really happening, okay? What's going on? And with the, the chariot, the eight of wands and the sun, it's like things are opening up, things are being, that things are brighter and happier and there's more confidence around than there has been for a long time, okay? So I'm gonna use the Lightseer's Tarot now. It's the major arcana card to see what energy we've got at the beginning of this next week. So let's have a little look. Okay, so what I'm picking up is we've got the Devil card, okay? Now the Devil card, everyone hates the Devil card, but the Devil card is about mischievous naughtiness. It can be about very bad people. OK, so if you think about corruption, if you think about people that have seemed to be this way, but they're doing this, um, people that are manipulating evidence or manipulating certain things that are going on. Um, there's a lot of political things going on. There's a lot of kind of things going on in the medical profession that they haven't been open and honest about. OK, so when you think about the devil card coming out regarding that it basically indicates that there might be some big changes happening, okay? And lots of reveals happening um, around the beginning of this next week, okay? So moving on into the middle of um, the week. So the middle of the week, um, we've got a feeling where we have to emotionally let go of a very emotional or stressful situation that is, is linked to our personal lives. There is an energy where I've got to look, I've got to get past this feeling of um, having to be let down and um, having to feel as if, um, you know, when your world starts to change and everything seems to be kind of what was once up here is now below. Does that make sense? So it's like everything has changed. Everything has kind of like gone a full circle um, and it seems to be quite quickly. So your, your world, is going to be very um, confusing. And I feel that, you know, although you're emotionally having to let go and walk away, um, this may make you, there's going to be bouts of you being angry, um, you being frustrated, trying to blame somebody. Um, and there's also a feeling of, but I've got to look ahead. I can't stay in this energy because you know what I've said before, if you stay in this energy, you're gonna attract, it's like a magnet, attracting more of that energy towards you. So a lot of kind of bad things start to kind of happen around you. If we stay in that kind of I'm angry energy, um, you know, you'll have people around you who are equally an angry, people that you don't know just in the street, that sort of thing. So it's just indicating that sometimes we, you know, we might feel like this, but then we have to move forward. Now, things are going to get better. Look, you've got the sun and the world um, in, you know, the sun and the world are two of the best cards in the deck of tarot. Okay, and you've got this in the light seers. You had the sun at the beginning of the week in the cosmic deck. Okay, um, so by the middle of the week, the world card indicates that things are turning out perfectly. 
things are turning out for the best. It may not seem it at the time, um, but it is. It's all working out for the best. Um, so that's around the middle of the week for Cancerians. Um, by the end of the week, end of the week, there's somebody who is kind of um, making you worry or making you feel as if, you know, it's something to do my head in, you know? Um, and it, it feels as if there's a lot of emotional decisions that you're being asked to make. So lots of people trying to give you that ultimatum. You've got to make this decision or else, or, you know, the ball's in your court. What are you going to do? Okay. And um, I suppose it could be the other way around for some of you where you're asking someone else to make their decision. Um, so I never know whether you're playing that lead role or whether you're playing that side role. Okay. But it does indicate that sometimes um, we have to make these decisions and they are hard. They're difficult. You know that if you make the wrong decision, it's going to upset another person. But maybe whichever way you look at it, you're going to upset somebody. Um, you know, that is, is, is a difficult one. To do with your psychic ability, it's getting stronger and stronger. Um, so maybe ask your higher self. The best way to ask your higher self if you have one, is to use a pendulum. Okay, so if you've got a pendulum, um, if, you, if you haven't got a pendulum, then you could have um, a needle and thread. Okay, you can use it like that. Um, you could have a ring on a piece of string. Okay, something heavy on a piece of string, so it's able to move around. And I always do um, a circle for yes, and back and forth for no. So the first thing you do is, um, you ask it to show you yes, and it should spin around in a circle. Um, or uh, And then as it's spinning around, ask the question and see it move, see it jolt into swing from side to side. Okay, then you know that your pendulum, your ring, your ring and the string, um, whatever you're using is gonna be working for you um, and ask for it to be in the highest interest of you, okay? And um, so then ask your questions, maybe ask a question you already know the answer to, first of all, see if it's working and then move forward. So uh, that's the quickest and best way, I believe, to start asking yourself um, these questions if you're finding it very difficult um, to make choices. You are going to be seeing the other side of the coin. So what has been in plain sight is not how things really are. You know, we have the moon, okay? And with the moon, sometimes it is to do with psychic ability. In fact, you've got the moon twice, I've just realized. Um, so you've got it in both um, the Norbert Loesch cosmic deck and the light seers deck, okay? So this is to do with, sometimes it's like what we see is in front facing, just mean, but sometimes there's other stuff going on in the background. These are all going to be starting to be revealed. Okay. Um, it's around the last week, I would say, um, you know, of November, around that time. Okay. So look out, look out for those changes. Okay. And um, so that is um, the water signs. Okay. I'm going to. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to pause this. My throat, I'm just worried about my throat. I'm going to try and continue. So I'm just going to pause this and then I'll come back. And um, in a moment when I've got the, next, the rest of the card sorted out, ready for the earth signs. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do Taurus now. Okay. Um, so this is for the week beginning the 22nd of November, November the 22nd, uh, 2021. Okay, so the beginning of this week for Taurus is gonna be um, a little bit upside down, okay? Um, you're gonna have to be patient uh, with the things that you want, the things that you, um, that are going to be unfolding um, in your particular life. Um, there's a need to wait and be patient. I feel that there is somebody around you at this time who's got a bit of a sharp tongue. And I feel that this person, um, it just feels as if this person's gonna be very blunt with you. 
um, this person is going to lead you to then be blunt with them. Okay, it's like, you know, it's it's back and forth, back and forth. Um, I feel that you're having to kind of juggle around your time, juggle around your energy, juggle around kind of money, everything. It's like having to please so many people. But then you've got this one person who, no matter how much you're trying to please them, it's nothing's ever good enough. Does that make sense? And that's the frustrating thing. So, um, yeah, it feels as if, um, you know, that upside down feeling of kind of let's be patient, take a deep breath, um, let's not react. OK, um, we've also um, got an official meeting, OK, or a very important meeting. Now, sometimes it's an official. So for some of you, it will be an official meeting. That could be a doctor, solicitor, bank manager, estate agent, um, interview for a job. OK, it can be one of those. Um, for others, it will be a meeting of the minds. You know, somebody who is who is very important is coming along um, and you're going to be meeting up with them. OK, um, now this person has got information that you really need, okay? Um, it's gonna be experience that you, you, have, um, that you want, that you need, that, that is gonna help you, okay? But again, you're gonna have to be patient with um, that meeting as well. Moving on into the middle of the week for Taurus, you've got this kind of feeling of um, things moving on quicker then. You know, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, which then it's like everything is starting up. Um, so from the slow beginning to the week, everything starts to speed up around the middle of the week. Um, and I, I can see that there is going to be um, um, decisions and choices that you're gonna need to make to do with money, work. Um, it can be to do with a gamble situation. Um, should you go in this direction or that, you know, weighing up a, um, a financial matter or a work matter. OK, um, decision time. OK, you're standing at that crossroads. You're weighing up the pros and the cons. There's something to do with health or something to do with making sure that you're OK, wrapping yourself up in cotton wool. OK, um, you are important. And sometimes we have to look at, you know, things from. You know, stand back and look at the practicalities rather than getting emotional rather than getting into a panic stage, we've got to kind of stand back. Um, and I feel as if there's a lot of research looking into things, um, kind of dissecting, um, you know, information and, you know, the way and up again, it's going to be kind of um, a blend of the middle of the week and the end of the week. It's all around that time is going to be a massive kind of change that's happening. You've got the chariot and you've got them twice, okay? Okay, so the chariot is twice um, two different decks. Um, so this is, you know, racing ahead, looking at the black and white. Okay, it can link to travel plans, but I really feel as if this is something more to do with, um, you know, I think decisions. Okay, um, now so for some of you, the decisions will be to do with emotions, and for others of you, it will be to do with work and finances. Okay. You've got the star card at the end of the week. Um, and this is about kind of, you know, following your dreams. Um, you know, sometimes our dreams, we have to kind of put um, our dreams on hold sometimes to say, um, well, there's, a, there's too big an obstacle um, at the moment going for this. So maybe I need to change my direction and go in a different direction and then follow my dreams around, go at it a different angle, a different way, okay? It does indicate that there is the tower, which, which is to do with having a clear out, um, things being kind of, um, you know, where, where everything's coming to the surface. If it's not built on, on firm foundations, then it's gonna come down anyway. This is gonna be basically a, a big, it's like a big event. That's what it feels like, a big event where you're really going to have to make those important decisions. OK, it's not going to be easy at all. And I feel as if they, they keep repeating themselves. It's because it is the middle of the week and the end of the week. 
it is actually all in one. There is somebody going to be coming into your life at this time who is a new person. This new person is going to play a very significant role in your life um, from this time, from this week, um, through to the following week. So um, we've got to watch out for this person. Now, for some of you, this person will be a new um, relationship. And for others of you, this person will just be somebody who has got the right information at the right time. OK, so we'll be able to know more when we go into um, the following week. OK, so there we go for Taurus. All right. So. <clears throat> OK, I'm having to do this step by step just in case my throat doesn't blast out because I've got a bit of a chesty thing going on. Okay, so Taurus, we're gonna go into Virgo now. Virgo. All right. So let's have a look and see what is happening to Virgos. The week beginning, the 22nd of November through to the 21st of, sorry, the 21st to the 22nd. Um, it's kind of for some of you, because I'm in the UK, uh, for some of you, it's going to be the 21st. For me in the UK, it's going to be the 22nd of November. Okay. okay. So starting off the beginning of the week, it's all about trust. It's about kind of saying to the universe, you're going to catch my fall no matter what. I know you are. And whatever will be, will be. It's very difficult for Virgos to do that because usually Virgos, you're a planner. Uh, you plan ahead. You're looking ahead. You're weighing up the kind of pros and the cons to every kind of scenario and situation. There's a strong feeling of trust, though, that is building up within you. And so this is a majorly big thing um, around you, okay? So let's see what else we're getting for you. Okay. So, so what I see for, um, for Virgos, um, Virgos, there's a lot of hard work around you. Um, your feet aren't going to touch the floor for long. They're going to be, it's like work, 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 rush, rush, hurry, hurry. I feel that there's a lot of success around you, a lot of achievements, things that you didn't think that you could, could achieve, you are achieving. Um, and it, then the decision that will then come is, am I going to take this to the next level? Am I going to leave it as it is and be proud of myself? Or is something inside me saying, do you know what? Go further. You know, you know you can. Um, so I feel that this um, looking at these cards, I don't think that you're going to leave it where it is. Um, you are going to be going up a level. OK, so it's like success um, as achievements. Achievements can be to do with work. It can be to do with life path, energy um, career moves it can be your spiritual side. OK, it's all to do with I feel so proud of myself right now. I know how hard it's been for me, particularly. Um, and uh, I want to take this to the next level. There's a, um, an energy of perfection, wanting to do things perf perf um, in, within perf um, perfection, not wanting to hold back. Everything has to work out the way that I want it to. So, you know, there's no second, second best energy um, around you guys, but then they're not, they're not very rarely is really Virgos, you, you are kind of, um, you're on that level of, you know, I'm going to push myself until I get exactly where I want to be. Okay. Um, so by the middle of the week, middle of the week, I'm seeing that things are needing to be done in an official capacity. Now that can be to do with exams. It can be to do with important papers, contracts, signatures on documents. It can be to do with um, making something, making something official. Okay, needing your justice, needing the end result of a situation, you know, the completion of it. 
Okay, I can see the wheel of fortune here, uh, which means everything is moving forward. Everything is going in the right direction. And sometimes we have to say, you know, we can't always be on the top. Sometimes things happen for a reason and they're all to do with building up um, trust, building up that positive energy. Okay, so you, again, you know, so many times I'm seeing this same energy of you're standing at a crossroads. I've said it in nearly every single astrology. Um, but we've had the eight of wands. We've had the chariot a lot. We've now got this card, um, the seven of pentacles, which is, you know, Norbert, the um, cosmic deck by Norbert, Norbert Loge. Um, you can see here, it's like, what to do he's got two coins in his hand and he's got to decide whether he's going to plant it here which isn't making enough money or isn't getting the results that he wants or he's going to go and find somewhere else and um, to do this it's like taking on that gamble do i do what i'm always doing or do i try something different okay that along with the justice card it's to do with kind of like weighing weighing it up so once again it's sorry it's weighing it up once again, and with the Wheel of Fortune, things just changing, things being changeable, okay? There is somebody around you at this time who is going to be saying things to you that might upset you, okay? It could be that you need to say things to someone else and it might upset them, okay? Either way, it's, it's the way it is. And sometimes we just have to kind of go with it. By the end of the week, look out for somebody around you who isn't to be trusted. I feel that this person is holding back secrets, not telling you everything, um, being secretive for the, the sake of their own benefit. OK, um, these it can also be like a global thing where the secrets that have been around are now open and everybody can now see them. It is now you know, revealed. OK. There is a, a strong feeling here of, it's like I've got a large amount of money or financial security. We've also got somebody who is coming in, somebody new or a new system that is going to be emerging. And this is out of, um, it's, you know when something's been bad or gone bad, and this is like saying, we're gonna sweep that out of the way. And this is a fresh start now. And this is linking with money. It's linking with um, new beginnings and no more secrets. Transparency is on its way. Okay, so here we go for Virgos. Let's uh, put these back in the light piles. Okay. So Capricorns. Okay, so to ease my throat, I'm going to pause it and have a quick um, drink, and then I'll be back in a tick in a second. Okay, so, okay. so we're going to do um, Capricorn. Okay, so Capricorns for um, this, well, it'll be about the last week of November, won't it? Uh, 2021. So, Let's have a look, see what's going on with you, Capricorns. Right. Okay. So the um, beginning of the week for Capricorns is going to be um, I don't know if this is you or this is somebody close to you, but you're going to be feeling like um, I want what I want. OK, you're going to be, um, you know, when you sulk, if you don't get it, it's like, you know, it's my turn. I'm going to put myself first. This is about me. OK, so it's going to be a lot of kind of, you know, um, it's 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 like things turn around. And sometimes we always put other people first um, and kind of that's our nature. We always put other people first. It's like, no, it's okay, you go first. 
no, it's okay, you know. And then all of a sudden it's like we're turning the tides and everything, everything is about us. And that's what I'm seeing for you, uh, Capricorns, this week. Um, there is a sense of, you know, that life has been, it's been busy, but it hasn't been busy doing the things that you want to do or the things that make you feel excited. And so this is going to be a bit of a change happening around the beginning of the week for you guys. Okay. I feel that you're, you've been putting a smile on your face no matter what. You've been saying, I'm fine. Don't you worry about me. You know, you've been acting like it's, it's not a problem. Um, but deep down, there has been something bugging you. There has been something that you think is unfair. And uh, this is the time um, for you to start to, to maybe speak out about it. Or it could be just that you're just going to um, end up doing things yourself, you know? It's like, well, I'm not going to wait for permission. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go off and do it. So, okay, this is to do with your ambitions, to do with, you know, your life, okay? It's about fairness. Um, and this fairness is really important um, that things are fair for you as well as everybody else. By the middle of the week, middle of the week, I'm seeing something to do with kind of um, legal or official things. OK, and needing to get things completed, needing to finish tasks, not leaving things half half done. And I feel that this is going to remain something quite, um, quite strong. Organisation skills are going to be very, very prevalent here. OK, you are standing up for yourself. Um, you are kind of saying, well, you know, um, I'm not going to back down this time. This is, this is my life. So I know that one of the other um, readings that I've done in astrology that that was um, standing up for yourself and not backing down well this is going to be very very true as well for you um, I can see that there is a little bit of um, things being on hold or delayed okay especially if it's to do with house moving um, your home rerouting your job or positioning positioning yourself um, doing something um, that is a bit different okay it's like okay I would normally be able to just get on with it but now I'm not there seems to be a delay okay and it's um there, there's a need to be patient with this um I can see links around mother motherhood nurturing for some of you there will be a pregnancy announcement okay um there could be something to do with um wanting to um find out about you know um, whether or not it's a good idea to to have a child or you know there is a conversation about children uh, or about babies and this is either coming directly to you um, or it is you know someone else talking to you okay about it um, I do feel as if this standing up for yourself is going to be very very important um, you know there is somebody around you who has been I feel um, pressurizing you okay just need to put up with yeah it is all going to get better and you are going to be able to follow your own dreams in your own pathway okay so keep looking ahead keep stepping forward trying something different every day um experiencing things you know keeps you alive and keeps you kind of um excited about your future by the end of the week We've got the mother card again, okay? This is to do with nurturing, um, making sure that everybody else is okay. And I know this is kind of in your main interest that you do tend to do this, um, but sometimes we need to shine the light on ourselves and nurture ourselves as well. Okay, once again, we have the card um, that we keep having, which is the eight of wands, which is about going forward, okay? Nothing's stopping you, everything is is. You know, there's no more obstacles. The obstacles have been lifted. So there's going to be something majorly big about these obstacles being lifted. And I feel this is more to do with kind of the rules and regulations. They're going to be um, lightening up or there's going to be um, something's coming to a head, okay, around um, that time. The, well, the um, I would say towards the end of, end of November, there's going to be some major changes there. OK, it's like the ending and the beginning, you know, you can't. Um, it 
it's like you couldn't have um, expected anything um, as good as this, okay, to actually come about. So, so yeah, there's some very good vibes coming um, for you and around you. And this could even be a global thing, just to me, rather than it just be about you. Um, because the amount of times I've got this card, does that make sense? And we've also had this card quite a lot, which is the hanged man, which is um, patience has been needed, okay, in order to get to this level. You know, the temperance is about trying to find that right balance, trying to be um, trying to be fair to yourself and to others, okay? So there you go. That's what I see for you Capricorns, okay? So, okay, just to confuse it, to confuse everybody, really sorry, but I'm going to add on the Scorpio reading here because I, um, when I listen back to this, we've got um, the Scorpio part of the reading on a separate recording. Um, so this can actually play then as a whole. Um, so uh, uh, I'm having to add in the Scorpio because we did the water signs right in the beginning. So um, sorry to confuse. Okay, so. All right, so Scorpios, what's going to be happening for you um, on this, um, um, the kind of last week of November here? Okay, um, that you're going to be weighing up everything, okay? And this is to do with money matters. I'm seeing you looking at finances, um, deciding on what is going to be best for you financially or linking to jobs and work. Um, I feel that there is a lot that you're having to sort through, okay? Um, it's all to do with practical things. You know, is this working for us? Um, is this the best way forward, okay? Um, there's gonna be some discussions and talks about rerouting, uh, maybe moving plans, okay? Moving jobs or moving as in moving, okay? If it's not you talking about it, then someone close to you will be talking or discussing this with you. It's going to be lots of good ideas coming up, okay, about what to do and how to change things. I can see that you are concentrating on um, a job or a self-employment business, okay? It's a concentration on, if I, if I gave this some more effort and I made this actually possible, um, this would actually work out very well. I would be able to achieve more. So it's all to do with kind of the balance, okay? It's my cat jumping onto uh, the sofa. Okay, so it's all to do with the balance of life um, and um, everything. So it's about nurturing, nurturing those ideas to do with money. Emotionally, it feels as if you are um, needing to be inspired um, to do more. So somebody around you is going to be giving you that inspiration. Um, this person is going to be saying, I did this, what about you doing something like that? You know, um, so it's gonna be lots of ideas exchanging um, between you and another person, another person back to you, okay? It's gonna help you um, a lot. I can see that there's a trust issue that needs to be um, sorted out, okay, regarding um, you and somebody special, okay? Somebody in your life. Now this person, um, it's like you're having issues regarding trust um, with them and they're having issues regarding trust with you, okay? And in the meantime, it's like you don't know how the other person feels because everybody is not talking. Um, nobody's communicating very well. Okay, so by the middle of the week, the middle of the week, whatever you have done in the past to do with money, business, study or learning, um, all of that is kind of, paying off okay and um you are now able to do something with those those gifts those talents that you've done in the past when you did them you probably thought to yourself they'll never amount to anything you know what's the point of me actually learning this you know when am I going to use it in practical life well that's when it's going to happen is around the middle um well sorry the end of um November okay I can see you spending out some money, okay, to do with study, learning, or some sort of development. I'm seeing education around. So it could be that some, some
some um, something to do with education is going to cost more than you thought, more than you realised. But it's not in a bad way. It's more in a progressive way. So whatever you invest, it's going to be better for you for you soon. There's a big transition going on. I feel as if there's some big changes happening for you or somebody close to you. It's like um, what was, uh, you know, it's like going from this stage onto another stage. OK, and I feel that these new beginnings are going to be very um, I'm seeing bite my nails. I'm seeing kind of nerves and I'm seeing as if I've got to be um, I've got to be focused. You know, I can't let my guard down. Um, this needs to be um, this needs to be as successful as it could possibly be possibly be um, emotionally. I see the holding on. Um, so you're you're kind of holding on. Um, to something or somebody in the past, um, a, a situation maybe that has caused issues or problems. So you just don't seem to be able to get past that. Okay, it can be a person, a situation, um, a feeling. Okay, and all of that is like I need to address this, this fear or this um, feeling of isolation isn't helping my situation. Somebody close to you is going to be feeling as if, well, what's the point of this? You know, they're feeling as if they need something to. Um, so it's like give them a purpose. If some, if you're noticing somebody becoming depressed or low, um, sometimes it's like, you know, make something up like, I really do need your help. If you could help me with this, this would be really, really handy. What you're doing is giving them a purpose. And it's exactly what they need. OK, to feel needed. OK, is is really good by the end of the week. End of next week, sorry, by the end of next week, there has been a bit of battles going on. I feel that somebody around you has has um, proven to be um, not trustworthy at all. And I feel that this is going to be um, quite a hard time um, for you. Now, this this can be people um you know acquaintances or that sort of thing so this doesn't have to be somebody directly linked to you um it can be kind of like a boss or it can be somebody that you worked with you know um it can be to do with that so you know i don't want you to worry about it being um somebody close but um there has been battles with this person this has got into a situation where you know you have to watch what um watch what they're up to now does that make sense think back and see you know how this uh, how this affects you um in the long run okay um i do feel that you will be moving forwards okay with a plan okay it's like you've had a big idea about where you're going to go with a with an ambition okay this is a project an ambition it can be um, a job that you've decided to do um, it could be the job is around your house or it could be, you know, doing something um, that is, is going to be is going to bring you some money in. I don't know. It just feels as if this plan is definitely happening. OK, and you're putting all your trust in this plan to make everything right. OK, so this trust is sometimes a hard thing to do um, because, you know, universal trust um, if you can get into the flow of trusting the universe, then everything, you know, keeps coming to you. It's like a um, magnetic pull um, towards you. To do with your emotions. OK, so emotionally, they're telling me about there's an abundance of emotions. There's lots of people around you who are going to be showing you um, just how much they think of you, how much they care. This is going to feel really good. It's going to make you feel as if that, you know, sometimes going through bad things brings out the best in the people that care about you. OK, um, there is an independence growing within you um, and you're needing to kind of um, think about your own needs. Think about what you're going to be um, needing to do in order to get stronger um, so to prevent anything um, happening again that might have thrown you off. OK, your emotional kind of um, strength. OK, but, um, you know, you will do it. Um, great faith in you. 
Okay, so that is for Scorpios. And sorry, that was um, pushed in. Um, it was just about to do the, um, the fire signs. Um, and I, then I realized that that first recording that I did didn't go through. So we've had to kind of add in the water signs to complete the water signs there. Okay, um, let's just double check. Get the cards mixed up. Okay, so um, I'm going to now go into um, Leo. Um, we'll move on. We'll move on with that. Okay. So we're going to be doing um, Leo now. Okay. So what's going to be happening with Leos on um, starting the week of the 22nd? of November, November the 22nd, 2021. Okay, so the beginning of the week starts off really good. Um, we've got the um, feeling of everything is gonna be working out within the best interests of yourself. Okay, at the time, might not feel it, um, but it is all moving into that space, okay? You do have the world card, okay, at the beginning of the week. Um, it feels as if somebody who um, somebody close to you will be shown to be um, who you um, who they are, who they really are. Um, their true colours will be will be known. Okay, um, there has been somebody around you who um, maybe you've noticed you're not getting on with, um, and maybe other people hadn't noticed. Maybe other people thought you were just being kind of um, you know, um, how can I put it, um, critical, or that sort of thing. Well, actually, it's uh, it's not you. Um, they're going to be shown, okay? And I do feel that this is going to be the best thing possible, is that, you you know, they will be. Um, so I feel that everybody will then drift away um, from this person. Um, unfortunately, this person couldn't keep up the pretense of, you know, trying to pretend to be the nice person, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, it's like you don't want to be around that sort of person, that sort of energy. OK, so um, you're going to feel very much more in balance then. It's a bit like um, you were even doubting yourself. Um, you know, was I, am I being too harsh? Um, is, is, it, is it me and not them? So it's all going to work out. Um, it's all going to work out fine. Um, emotionally, the beginning of the week, there is um, a strong feeling of a past life um, connection that you guys have. And I feel that this is linked with this learning about this person and learning about what it is that they are really about, what, what sort of personality they really are. Now, this strong past life image, it could be that you've had to play out a karmic lesson, okay, for... Um, for both of you, you know, something you've had to be together, you agreed to be together um, and to play out this, um, the game of life um, in this particular lesson. And uh, once you've learned that lesson, then you guys can then move forward and um, break free. Um, I can see that this person that you are, that has shown their true color, colors, have got a lot of stuff in the past. And I feel that they haven't had it easy. Um, you know, this, this links back to their childhood or it links back to their past. So, you know, we can make excuses for them, but at the end of the day, people do make choices every single day and those choices um, affect other people. And so, you know, um, sometimes we have to call it how it is. Okay, so by the middle of the week, um, the middle of the week, we've got the temperance card where you're feeling a little bit more balanced now. Um, you're trying to weigh up the pros and the cons. Maybe you're kind of feeling a little bit less um, stressed or kind of um, negative about that person. Maybe you're able to let them go, okay, with love. There is a feeling here of, um, how can I put it? Yeah, you know when you're, you've got a lot of worry on, on your shoulders, you, you feel as if, um, everything is getting to you. You don't know which way to get out of the situation that you're in. It could be somebody close to you who is talking to you about that. Um, there is a solution. There is a way out. 
you just have to be creative in order um, to, to get that. Now, talking about rerouting or moving, so don't be surprised if you're not, um, you don't have the chance to move or somebody suggests um, moving to you, okay? It could be moving jobs, it could be movement. Um, it just feels as if it's, um, there's definitely changes to do with money, finances, security, okay? Um, and there is money that is on its way to you, but you've had to make some very big um, choices and decisions, okay, in the process. To do with your emotions, emotions, you're going in the right direction. You're taking leadership of yourself. You're taking leadership of your um, emotions, of what it is that you believe that you need, okay? Who you need to be around, what it is that um, is going to make you happy. So, and I feel that there is um, a person connected to you who they keep looking at what's not, what, they've, what, what they haven't got. They're concentrating a lot on the poor me, you know, the, um, the feeling sorry for themselves and, um, and that spiral effect. And um, this isn't going to go well if they carry on down this road um, and you are trying to keep them um, being more positive, okay? Um, but that's a tough call. Um, so by the end of um, next week, um, the end of next week, sometimes we, we feel as if there is no way forward and we have to delay everything, um, but there's an obvious solution staring at us right in the face and sometimes but we don't want to even contemplate it. It's like that doesn't fit in my kind of narrow mind um, at the moment. I don't want to... Um, to do that, okay, I don't want to make that choice, but I do feel that, that you know, you will, um, you will be making some tough, tough decisions, and um, I feel that the, it's like the blinkers are going to come off, okay, so where you were kind of one-minded, I'm going in this direction no matter what, um, the, the other direction is going to open up more, and um, that direction is going to um, actually start to look very good, okay? So it's about changing directions and changing sides, okay? And uh, that's mainly to do with money, work, and finances. Okay, so the magician indicates that your spirit guides are going to be kind of shining the light at um, certain directions that you are going to be going in. And this is going to make you feel very excited about, you know, the future, uh, very excited about you know things opening up and it's going to actually feel as if why didn't I make this decision sooner you know why was I being so stubborn emotionally you're going to be letting go of somebody um, who it, this person doesn't need to be um, around you anymore and um, this person and you just don't gel or don't get on with each other and you know you finally made that decision that it is now um, finished and done with. There will be a little bit of a power struggle going on here. Um, so this power struggle can be that you are, um, that maybe there's somebody else inter interfering, that maybe there's somebody else who is trying to um, give you advice or give the other person advice. Um, it could be that, you know, you're ready to let go, but actually you then realize that there's been someone else who has been complicating everything. And with, without their interference, um, then things can sort themselves out. It's just whether or not this, um, this person that you're walking away from is going to see your side of things regarding this extra person. Okay, so there you go, Leos, that is for you. So I'm gonna get the cards ready um, and it will then go on to Sagittarius. Okay, so we're going to be doing Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, there's going to be, um, um, they're talking to me about a partnership. Okay, now for some of you, that partnership may mean business. For others, it might mean um, more personal. Okay, um, becoming a partnership can be a friendship, teaming up with somebody in order to get a job done or to get something finished. Okay, um, and there will be celebration. Okay, around this. 
achievement and celebration. I feel that it's like um, we've already done well, we're going to do more. I'm seeing a party atmosphere. I feel as if everybody is um, gathered around. For some of you, I think that this will be a wedding or it will be a, um, you know, birthday, anniversary, um, something like that, because it's like really um, a joyous occasion and getting together. Okay. Um, there is a little bit of a battle, okay, around this. It's like there's a problem that needs to get sorted out in order for um, the celebrations um, to go ahead or, you know, this partnership to go ahead. So it's like something has to be sorted out first. Okay. Right. Um, so like everything in life, we kind of get used to the fact that sometimes when we want something, we have to wait um, until the right time, till the universe decides um, that it is the right time. Even when we believe, no, this is the right time, um, they sometimes don't. So um, I do feel that, um, you know, you're having to kind of um, pause and, and think about the next, uh, the next phase of your journey and what it is that you need to be doing. Okay, we've got the hanged man, okay. Right, um, you're going to be taking some leadership to do with your um, love life or emotions, okay? So this can be to do with an emotional situation. Um, this can be um, family, friends, okay, partner. Can be to do with an ex-partner taking leadership of this situation. Um, the other person involved here is going to be um, needing to keep a little bit more grounded because I'm seeing um, blowing something out of proportion um, not doing what it is that they're supposed to be doing, okay, because it feels as if, um, you know, it's like I told you not to panic, or I, I told you that everything was going to be okay, um, and you've just kind of reacted in a way that's made things worse, so um, I feel that you're trying to keep everybody calm, okay, um, with your leadership. Moving on to the middle of um, next week, so the middle of next week, there is recognition and reward. A lot of people trying to tell you um, how well you've done, okay? Now, part of you is thinking, I could have done better. So you might be um, not feeling this celebration, okay? Are you being too hard on yourself? Maybe you've, you're thinking too much, going um, too much into, you know, what you could have done, you know, to do things differently but um you know they're saying that you did the best that you could with the tools that you had and at the time that you did it okay so um i do feel that that sometimes we have to be kind to ourselves a little bit more um and not not be so kind of um judgmental okay um there seems to be um a lot of kind of coincidences. So look out for coincidences around you. Look out for things that you thought, um, you know, you had it arranged, but actually the universe arranged it. You know, if you hadn't have turned up at a certain time, um, you know, you wouldn't have met this person. And you, as it happens, you was 10 minutes late, um, which meant that you then bumped into this person who then led you here. So there's a hell of a lot of um, coincidences um, turning up around you at this point. The book is open to you. Do you want the happy ever after? Or do you want the doom and gloom? Do you want to play the role of the victim? Or do you want to play the role of the survivor? Sometimes in life, we have to decide, do we want people to always feel sorry for us? Um, do we want that sort of attention? Because as somebody is doing that, doing that for you, or isn't that a shame? What that is doing is it's drawing in more of that, okay? More of victim energy, more of things that you need to survive, okay? So um, if you don't want drama, then don't concentrate on drama. If you can, you could say, well, it's not my drama, it's other people's. There is so much that we have to, um, deal with with other people but it's whether or not we actually take it within ourselves or we deal with it we help people out and then we say but it's not mine anyway what am I going to do for dinner 
where am I going to go tomorrow? You switch off, you turn that off. It, it's not yours. Okay, and that sounds as if you're being mean, but sometimes we can't keep living in that moment because if we do, you know, um, that's the energy around you. Whatever frequency you're on, you'll get more of the same. Okay, there does feel as if um, there's somebody around you who is being um, very needy. They are needing your help, needing your love, needing your support. Um, now, obviously, you know, if you're spiritual, you're going to be giving that support no matter what. But like I said, sometimes it's like um, if that person wants to stay in that self-pity mode, then sometimes you have to kind of um, give that over to them and allow them to do that. But you don't have to bear witness to it. OK, it's entirely up to them. OK, whether they how they want to be remembered or what they want um, in their own life. OK, so. If they live and enjoy and happiness, joy and happiness is just going to keep coming to them. Um, if they're living in the past and what has happened to them and how bad life has been for them, um, they're going to have more of that. So I know that sounds simplistic, but if you look up um, the law of attraction, um, have a look up, um, you know, the book, The Secret. OK, a lot of you have um, heard of that. Um, Abraham Hicks. Um, look up that so um, that will kind of give you the idea that I'm talking about okay um, so the end of the week is going to be about new ideas um, it's going to come at a time where you are going to be very busy doing other things so make sure that you put yourself um, write yourself a text message or um, you know write yourself a note just I mean because these these new ideas are going to be coming at you um, you're trying to remember everything, okay? So it's going to be quite tricky, just to mean to, um, to keep all this in your mind, okay? Um, they're talking to me about books, okay? So I don't know if you're thinking of writing a book or you've got a good idea about kind of um, something that could be a good story, okay? Um, yeah, it's, all, it's just show me pens and paper and writing down. OK, um, you're going to be trying out new things, things that you haven't tried before. I'm feeling the excitement and I'm feeling kind of that nervous energy at the same time. It's like, well, this is outside of my comfort zone, but it makes me feel alive. It makes me feel good. There's lots of things in the past that you have tried. And I feel that to do with work and finances, um, there's been many things that um, have earned you money in the past or, you know, um, those skills are um, good skills. I feel that that is what is going to be happening um, in the very near future, that you're going to start to um, do some more of these skills, use these skills again, okay, and um, you're going to enjoy doing that as well. So it's like um, those old skills are coming back. Um, you're feeling very protective of your loved ones, protective of your family, protective of your friendships. Um, and if need be, you will um, be quite fierce about it, okay? Because it, it's all to do with kind of loyalty and it's to do with kind of having pride that nobody um, is going to um, treat anyone that you care about disrespectfully, okay? Okay, so there's lots of love around you and I do see that there's a lot of celebrations. Um, so that could be party celebrations. Um, get togethers. I feel that there is somebody around you who you're going to need to be letting go. I feel that this person has been bringing you down. Um, they have been making you feel as though, you know, I, I started off in a good mood. Um, they've made me into a bad mood. This person um, just wants to press the wrong buttons, um, the buttons that make me feel cross or agitated. And there's no need for it. So I'm going to be less available when it comes to this particular person. Okay, so there you go. That's what I see for you guys, Sagittarius. Um, let me know how this all goes um, and um, take care. And I'm gonna come back in a moment to do Aries. So I'm seeing around Aries for this um, coming week. 
Okay, it starts off with, um, we've got the star card. So uh, I, this is coming up quite a lot when I'm doing um, these readings and when I'm doing one-to-one -one readings as well, that people are, and I feel as if I'm kind of like a record repeating, but it is kind of, there's always going to be a general kind of feeling that goes on and each week it kind of changes and, and moves on. So what's happening at the moment is priorities. Um, it's like your priorities, how, what you feel is, um, it's like the priority in your own life. And there's times that, that sometimes you are um, always put backwards. You put yourself backwards. A lot of people are doing this. You know, it's like, um, I, oh, it's okay, you go ahead. Um, I'll go last, don't worry about me, kind of that kind of feeling. And I feel that what's happening at the moment is all to do with kind of, well, actually you went um, first last time. So do you mind if I go? So it's, it's gonna be, there's a lot more fairness. It's to do with your self-worth. So a lot of people's self-worth, they're building it up at the moment. People are realizing um, that it's okay for them to accept kindness or, or accept whatever we accept or whatever we expect um, in life will come to us. So if we're always expecting to be second, second best, just what I mean, all of the time, um, then it's always going to be that case. So this to me just feels as if, um, you know, at the moment, people are learning to prioritize things and learning to say, actually, I do deserve, okay? And I keep, when I'm doing uh, readings, and I can feel that, this, that a person who I'm doing a reading for is, you know, their, their self-worth is quite low, um, then it's going to be kind of this, um, it's like a feeling of, um, you know, I'll put myself back, you know, all the time. But it's, it's changing. All I know is it's changing. People are changing. People are moving forward. Um, and that's what I'm seeing at the beginning of the week, very much so. Um, there's going to be um, a system linked to your finances. Financially, what is it that you deserve? OK, and it's all to do with kind of how much maybe you get paid um, for, for how much you do. Um, if you're not getting paid, then it's like, am I being appreciated? for the things that I do for others, okay? It's all to do with that balance, okay? That balance is very much needed, okay? It's gonna be very much sorted out um, around the beginning of the week. I'm seeing a party or a celebration around you. Um, and I know this is gonna sound obvious because um, <laughs> it's Thanksgiving in America. And I, I know a lot of American people um, follow me, um, but I'm gonna tell you this is why I can't change what it is does that not look like a party to me to you you know to everybody do you know what I mean that's my party card so um yeah there is a party feeling okay it's around you this next week I can see there's going to be um an exchange of money that is going to be um a lot fairer than it has been which will then start you realizing that actually maybe you should be getting charged uh sorry getting paid more maybe um, if you're doing some sort of business or that sort of thing, maybe your prices need to be changing. Um, maybe, you know, you need to be, if you put in more effort, then maybe there should be some extra pay um, in that way. So I know it's an awkward feeling, especially when it comes to spiritual matters. It's very difficult charging or working out what your worth is. But I think that's what you're going to be doing um, around the beginning of the week. Um, emotionally, you are learning to trust. You're learning to trust in yourself. You know, what, what are my feelings on this? What does my gut feelings say? Okay, you're needing to have a lot more creativity in your life as well. And I feel that there's someone else around you who also needs to be creative. And I feel that both of you are going to be working um, along those lines and, and starting to do kind of creative matters. Um, or being letting out that inner child and you know enjoying the laughter and the banter um, that that can um, 
can turn up. Okay, so by the middle of the week for um, for Aries, sorry, did I say Sagittarius right in the beginning? I'm really sorry if I did. Aries, clearly it's Aries. Okay, so Aries, you are being led. You're being led um, by spirit to go in a certain direction. It's like they've got a plan. Your spirit guides, your loved ones, they've all got a plan and they know whereabouts you need to be headed. And this is to do with, imagine that you've kind of put an order out and you know, you've know you said, I wanna be um, at this particular stage in my life um, by this point. And it's like those stepping stones are then put into place. And sometimes it's like, well, I don't know why I'm stepping forward here um, because you can't see the plan but the universe can. So sometimes we just have to go with it. We have to trust and see what happens in the end and knowing that it will be a nice kind of surprise. Okay, later. Um, I'm seeing a plan um, about the future and I feel that you are going to be writing down a few different ideas about what you're gonna be doing. I feel this is linked with travel. It's linked with going somewhere. It's linked with movement. And I feel that it's, it's, it's like you're writing down um, maybe a bucket list, if you know what I mean. And I think everybody should have a bucket list, whether or not we feel as if it's only linked to people, you know, um, at a certain age should have a bucket list. No, we should all have a bucket list. It gives us more time um, to fulfill more on it. So, um, so yeah, it just feels as if you're doing a lot of planning a lot of kind of, um, you know, focusing on, you know, the good things. And um, there does seem to be a bit of depression around. I don't know who is feeling depressed. You know, if it is you, um, then you're going to be kind of working on that and seeing how you can balance out those feelings a lot more. Um, there does seem to be a lot on your plate and that is kind of causing you to feel as if um, there's a heavy load on your shoulders. Um, and this is why this childlike energy, this creativity um, is gonna help you um, to actually get to grips with this um, depression. If it isn't you, then maybe you're gonna be suggesting um, this creativity, okay? Um, your hands are tied in a certain situation um, linking to some of the wishes that you want to achieve. And unfortunately, this is how it is at the time, um, but all of this will be changing. If you can just hang in there and just be a bit more patient, you will start to see things start to change. Okay, um, there is somebody around you who doesn't wanna let you go. You're trying to move away from this particular person. Maybe this is a friend or family member. Maybe it's a, an ex. Um, maybe it's somebody who you, know, you once kind of knew and they're, they're kind of trying to get in touch with you, but maybe for some, some reason, you're not connecting well with them. Maybe, you know, you're trying to be polite about it, um, but there's definitely something that will need to be um, addressed, I would say, at this time. There is a complicated love life situation around you, either with you or with somebody close to you. Okay, this love life situation, if it is somebody else, then it would have to be that you're being um, drawn into it in some way, that somebody is talking to you directly about their issues and problems. Um, at the end of the week, you're doing a lot of thinking. And I feel that I'm going into your mind. It's like, um, I'm gonna show you the cards so that you know what I mean. Okay, it's, it's just spiraling down and down and down into your brain. And it's like, I've got so much going on maybe I'm overthinking it, maybe I'm complicating things a bit too much, um, I'm confusing myself. I can see moving, okay, moving and boxes and changes, so either there's going to be a lot of chaos and changes in your home, or you're around someone else who is um, moving, or there's chaos in their home, because I'm seeing um, lots of kind of having to reorganize and having to um, get to a point of, um, you know, I've got to get prepared or I've got to get organized. I just feel as if it's somebody nagging um, and somebody not feeling happy with um, 
some mess around them, okay? Um, you're gonna be having a sort out. I see that there's some things that you're gonna be throwing away, getting rid of. Um, it's like lightening the load and getting, um, you know, decluttering, okay, to the point of, you know, things going out of your home and um, being kind of bagged up or either given away or sold because I'm seeing, you know, there being less things in your house. Okay, that's what it looks like. Um, you're ready to take on kind of um, somebody else's expectations. Um, this person has obviously got, got it in that you, you, you know, got it in their head that you are going to be um, this person to them. You're going to achieve this. You're going to um, make them proud of you. Um, and part of you is, is saying, well, yeah, I could do that. But there is a feeling of, do I really want to be controlled? Okay, so I feel that you have mixed emotions with this. Okay, it's like one minute, it's like, yes, I want to please them. And the next minute, I actually don't want to be controlled. So um, I'm going to deliberately not do what it is that they've asked me to do. Okay, so that's what I see around you, Aries. Okay, um, I'm going to do the air signs now. Um, and I'll be back in a moment. So Aquarius, this is for you, okay, for the end of November. Okay, so what I'm seeing around you is some sort of training or learning at the beginning of the week. Um, I feel that there is something that you're going to be concentrating on. Um, it feels as if there's a few kind of uh, nerves in the beginning, but then I'm seeing real success. Um, a feeling of I've achieved it, I've done it, okay, I feel that there will be, um, it's like trying something that you didn't know that you'd be any good at, uh, realizing that actually you are, and then pushing that on um, to your future, okay, and being very focused about that, so um, I feel that there is, it's like um, realizing I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this more, um, you know, maybe this is something that I should really pursue, as in um, achieving, I don't know, um, maybe a, a hobby or a career move or maybe a life path. Um, there's gonna be something that you're gonna really get attached to, okay? And there, there can be um, links with either earning money from it as well, okay? So um, yeah, trying new things, I feel. Um, it can also be, you know, you don't have to go to college or, um, or university or anything. Sometimes there can be YouTube clips, um, you know, just things that you are, you know, trying out. Um, I feel that there is a lot of stability around you to do with your um, emotions and your finances. It's like you're feeling as if um, there is, you know, it's like um, seeing the future through uh, rose colored glasses, saying to yourself that I know things are gonna get better. And I feel that this positivity is going to pay off, okay? It's going to draw more um, positivity to you. I feel that you're sending off a lot of affirmations. Um, you know, it's like a wish wishes for the future um, and letting the universe then bring these wishes to your door, okay? You've got the High Priestess card, which, um, which says to me um, that spirit and your higher self are working very closely with you. Um, to help you to achieve everything that you have dreamed of, okay? Um, so, and it's like the spiritual pathway is just opening up to you um, and everything that you can possibly achieve is there, there for you, okay? Um, to do with your emotions, your emotions are somebody who wants to kind of say, come on, come out and play. Um, I want you to, um, you know, experience this with me you know, you're not stuck indoors, you, you can do this. So I feel that it's like feeling as if you're, um, you're stuck and then someone experience, uh, telling you to experience new things. Um, and I feel as if there's a little bit of um, temptation um, to actually do this and to break free from all of these kind of restrictions around you. Um, there's somebody uh, close to you who is either asking you to analyze yourself um, trying to make you feel um, either judgmental to yourself or um, 
maybe they are analyzing themselves and when they're analyzing themselves you are um made to analyze yourself as well so it's all to do with self-worth and and what it is that you're um you're doing are you doing right or are you doing wrong that kind of judgment are weighing up okay by the middle of the week i'm seeing that you are needing to kind of be a bit more safer regarding your um, finances or regarding your possessions because there is somebody around who is not to be trusted okay now this can be that you end up losing money or losing something if you don't kind of take uh, notice of this kind of little heads up warning um, it's like trusting somebody who shouldn't really be trusted or lending somebody money um, that you uh, and it's like you know that you probably won't get it back but you're kind of trusting them anyway so your instincts are saying to you um just be careful don't leave things out um don't assume that everybody is going to be as um trustworthy as you are okay um there seems to be a complicated love life situation um around you and uh i feel that this will be linked to um it's like you know when you feel as if you have to pick sides or people around you are feeling as if they've got to pick sides um this is not it's not it doesn't feel fair um but it's what happens um when things like this happen um so you know it's trying to get back to how things should be um get back to the balance of life okay and um um, it's to do with kind of weighing up the pros and the cons and being fair um, and understanding where each of you are coming from. Okay, for yourself, there's somebody who is freezing you out, or it could be that you are freezing um, them out. It's like, uh, it could be a little bit of both, but the communication lines between you and a special person in your life are really um, not going well. Um, I feel that that will all start to change. I think, and things will be much better by the end of the week. Um, but the middle of the week is going to be very touch and go uh, regarding um, this connection. Okay. So sometimes it might not be love life. Sometimes it's to do with a family member. There's sometimes a lot of people out there uh, might not be linked with love life. So this could be a family member, an emotional um, situation that is going through complications. Yeah. So by the end of the end of the week, um, and the end of the end of November, um, I'm seeing things starting to knit together nicely. Um, and you're still feeling as though, you know, well, there's nothing I can do about that emotional situation. There seems to be a little bit of um, a quiet time where nobody is really talking. Um, but, or it's, it's at least a little bit um, difficult. So I feel that you're going to be throwing yourself into work matters or into a project linked with your home. Um, I'm seeing that this is gonna cause you um, to concentrate a lot on your finances, um, concentrate on you know, um, making things better in your home, reorganizing things. There could be even some moving um, of in moving in or moving out of a property, but it feels as if there's a lot of chaos um, linking in your home. Um, you're looking at things in black and white and trying to make some decisions. It's like you've had to make sudden decisions, like you wasn't ready to make this decision, but now you haven't got a choice and you've got to make that um, choice now. I can see that somebody um, is coming into your life who um, you needed. Okay, this person is somebody who, um, it's like you've been, it's like putting that wish out there and then having that wish uh, come to you, okay? Um, it's like they have um, entered your life or you have got what you've wanted um, back, okay, by the end of the week, end of November. Um, there's a person around you though, who it just won't let go. They won't let go of the, um, of the old story, of the, um, the negative story pattern, the, you know, you did this and I did this and do you see what I mean? And they keep going over the old stuff. And I feel that this is something that isn't going to help either one of you. 
and um, one or the other of you is going to need to take charge of that and say, I don't think we should talk about that anymore. Let's leave that in the past and let's move forward. Okay, so that's what I see for Aquarius. So this is for Gemini's, okay, for the end of or the last week of November. Okay, so Gemini's, it's a, a bit of a balanced um, kind of uh, week, I feel, going on with you, okay? It's going to start off with, I feel, um, a need to progress, really, in your spiritual um, side, wanting to develop your spiritual side, wanting to kind of see what kind of powers you have. Um, you might be finding that, um, you know, it, it could be um, creeping up at you, you know, um, that things are happening in your life. I've got no explanation as to how I did that or how I knew this. Um, it's just, it's there. Um, so yeah, I feel as if it's gonna be quite an exciting um, adventure, okay, coming in, okay, to do with your spiritual, very spiritual cards I've got in front of me. Um, for Gemini's. Okay, I'm seeing that you're going to be um, juggling money around, but then it is coming up to Christmas, but I can't help the fact that this card is clearly, if Pentacles is money, this is definitely juggling finances. Okay, so I can't get out of that. Um, I feel that there's an energy of um, stillness to do with your ambitions. OK, um, or something like a task that you've done or a project, it feels as if oh, that's kind of a bit slow and um, that's not going anywhere fast. I want to get on with it and I can't get on with it and I'm a bit bored okay, and frustrated. It could be that you're itching to start something, but you don't know what, quite what you want to start. OK, it's just that you need a, a, a project. OK, um, like I said, there's a very spiritual feel about this. We've got the High Priestess and the Temperance, and we've got the Hierophant as well. Hierophant, Hierophant, tomato, tomato. Um, yeah, so you've got very spiritual cards, okay, going on, okay? You've got the Temperance trying to get the balance, okay, right in your life, okay? Um, so I feel that kind of emotionally, um, you're going through a stage where you're having to learn to trust that gut feeling of yours you know, when you feel as if something's not quite right, that maybe um, somebody is kind of not being as truthful or as honest as you want them to be, um, and you're trying to find out the truth, it could be that somebody's asking you some questions and it's like they know something um, that you're trying to hide or that you don't want other people knowing about, okay? So it's all to do with kind of hidden things trying to find out um, the truth. Um, there is somebody around you who it's, it's like you couldn't be further apart uh, with your belief systems, with what it is that you feel is right or wrong, okay? These belief systems are um, really kind of, um, both of you are stuck in your ways. It's like, this is what I believe um, and you know, you're wrong. And then the other person is saying, but this is what I believe and you're wrong. Um, so it's really quite hard. And, I want to show you the card as well because um you know we've got the belief card okay so um i just wanted to to say because obviously we know that there is a lot of um division okay and some of it is caused by um the mainstream media okay division is you know is coming up but you can clearly see um that's what this means okay the division Okay, so by the middle of the week, middle of the week is a little bit of an obstacle going on. And it, it's like you're just about to get what it is that you've wanted. Okay, you're just about to achieve something that you didn't think would be would be possible. Um, you've been working hard or you've been planning hard, okay, for this. Um, and this this last minute obstacle is there. You know, it's like, you know, it's been promised to you at this particular day. And that day has been and gone and you still haven't been able to um, achieve or receive what it is that you want. OK, and there's still kind of this pending feeling. OK. There's somebody in authority around you who may be causing this obstacle 
or problem and um, you're not feeling very amused by this, okay? You're trying to get to the bottom of why this is taking so long. Okay, there is, we've got the magician card, which means that there are coincidences happening um, around you and around, you know, life and the situation. And you just don't know um, what the, what, what is going on underneath. Um, but they are saying that spirit is behind this. The spirit is, um, you know, the universal energy, spirit guides, loved ones. Uh, everybody is working behind the scenes to make everything go as smoothly as possible. Um, there is money on its way. Um, I have got the abundance card. Um, and it's like, just keep trusting, keep trusting, keep trusting, you know, that all will be well. Okay, um, you feel sometimes that you are the one that has to sacrifice the most within relationships around you, whether that be to do with family, friendships, um, uh, acquaintances, work colleagues. Okay, so whatever that might be, it's like I'm fed up of sacrificing um, my happiness for others. And if you've noticed that right the way through these readings, um, especially this week, there's been a common theme and it is to do with kind of your self-worth and putting yourself first, um, at least sometimes. By the end of the week, end of the week, you've got the Hierophant again, okay? And this is to do with your spiritual pathway. And you are going to be rushing ahead and getting things done, looking at things in black and white, being able to understand the pros and the cons, um, linking to your own psychic power, okay? Um, there is somebody around you who's being very, um, I feel that they, okay, um, either you're putting up the boundaries and you're saying, you know, this is okay, but this is not okay, or someone else is doing that to you, okay, I'm not sure which way around this is, obviously for some, it could be, you know, it could be that, that you know, it's you that's putting up um, the boundaries or and for other people it's them okay so you've got to kind of be flexible with this if I was doing a reading for you in particular um, I would be able to tune in and find out what that is um, but unfortunately I can't because it's a collective kind of reading okay but I feel that you're going to have enough of this and you're going to say I'm not playing I'm letting go I'm walking away from this situation I don't want the drama I don't want this and I'm going to be more independent. Um, I'm going to kind of think about, um, it's like um, putting, putting your thoughts um, first and your feelings first. And it's like going it alone, okay? Letting go and walking away. Okay, um, I see that you have a plan for the future, um, where you want to go, what you want to do. Um, this is linked to your spiritual pathway, but you have got this tendency to get bored easily. And so you're trying to be less um, preoccupied by that side of you. I know that that's what myself and Greg are like. Um, it's like we can kind of like be very concentrating on it, but then we'll see something sparkly. Um, and it's like, oh, I wanna go in that direction then. Just to read. So we have to stay focused get on with something right to the end. Okay, and that is basically how you guys are gonna be. Um, Gemini's at the end of the next, end of November, but um, you've got this mischievous side to sometimes, if you're not able to concentrate and sometimes doing something um, to do with your inner child, like be creative, um, cut the, it, it's like um, take time out, at least even if it's 15 or 20 minutes, to go and do something creative. And then when you come back to do that kind of issue or problem um, that you know you was distracted with, you'll find that you'll be able to complete it and sort it out better because your inner child will have had chance to play. Um, so there you go. That's what I see for, for Gemini. So we're now gonna go to Libra. Okay, so let's have a look and see uh, what we're going to do with Libra. Um, so this is obviously my gorgeous man, um, Greg Prescott. So 
husband. I keep, you know, it's, it's like trying to get used to this. My husband. Um, yeah, so we're going to see he's a triple Libra. So um, that's one thing that I, I forgot to mention in the beginning. Um, it's a good idea to find out what your sun, moon and rising is. So you should be looking up three of these astrology um, readings. OK, so you should be listening to three of them. Obviously, Greg, because he's a triple Libra, would only have to listen to one. OK, um, I've got um, I'm a Pisces. That's my main sign. And then I've got Libra rising and I've got Sagittarian moon. So what are yours? So see if you can look those up. Um, you can, um, if you're not sure, you can go into kind of just one of the search engines and just put in what is my sun, moon and rising. And they'll ask you for your location, the time and the day of your birth. Um, and then you can be, at, uh, if you haven't got the exact time, you can actually just, um, um, you know, you can do a roundup one, um, morning or afternoon. I think they, they do that. Okay, so Libra. Okay, Libra, there seems to be some sort of um, events that are happening around your home. And I'm seeing um, moving things about, sorting things out. This can be DIY, decorating. Okay, so this is what's happening around the end of November. There seems to be a celebration, um, achievement. Yes, I've done it. Or oh, that's good news. This is just what I wanted to hear. It's just what I needed. Okay. There's a juggling of money, juggling of finances, juggling of this and that. Okay. Sorting out, um, you know, where your money is going and what you're doing with your money. Maybe re-energizing, um, maybe your affirmations. Um, maybe there's a need to kind of maybe do some new affirmations, um, put some more intentions out there okay so there's a little bit upside down there's kind of like your um a lot of things are pending and waiting and i'm feeling this kind of like weight and this weight is like um you know when you're kind of tapping your fingers on the table going oh come on is it here yet is it starting yet and i feel a lot of a lot of people are thinking this and it's all linked to obviously the new quantum financial system you know where everything is starting fresh everything is going um new it's all, all going to be um very much a fair system okay everybody's expecting this to happen um anytime now um and so I, I feel that this is kind of one of those one of those feelings that everything is upside down and waiting okay um there's links with kind of um seeing things for what they are or seeing systems for what they are being very much understanding um, that there are kind of bad people around and you know um, it's kind of exposure um, to those bad people okay um, you've got a trust issue okay at this time um, trying to learn to trust your own judgment trying to trust the situation that you find yourself in um, it's all about kind of that personal feeling of of trust um, there seems to be somebody around who is not to be trusted. I feel as if there is, um, you're, you're feeling very much, it's like a shadow energy, okay, around that, you know, um, and I feel that I wanna say, um, keep up your protection, make sure that you are protecting yourself as much as you possibly can. Um, you know, don't take this lightly. I think we all need to be doing that. So no matter what your birth sign is, um, Visualize yourself in the middle of a, a crystal ball. And then I would visualize yourself in another one, a bubble that surrounds that as well. And then I would put mirrors all the way around facing outwards. So if anything bad comes at you, it goes straight back to sender. Put um, a mirror above and a mirror below and visualize the flower of life all the way around you um, and visualize good luck and good fortune just coming towards you. OK, so um, so that kind of um, feeling of I know I'm now protected. So sometimes what you can do is if you haven't got time to visualize all that, what you could do is say that as soon as I click my finger, there's not enough room up here for you, love. My cat is just about to he's wet through and he just wants to sit on the cards. It's not a good idea. Darling, no, no, it's not happening. Sorry, baby. Go over there.
he's soaking wet. I'd usually give him a towel rub, but I can't because of all these cards on it. I'll have to do it in a minute. No, no. Giving him some cat treats to try and um, keep him down there. Oh, he just knocks everything flying, bless him. So anyway, um, yeah, you could say to yourself, right, to your spirit guides, right, as soon as I click my fingers three times, um, all of that protection is up. Okay, so you can simplify things. Your guides know what you want, but they have to know your intention. So you have to kind of, it's a bit like program it in first and then kind of say, right, this is, I mean, it could be touch your nose. It could be twist your ear. It doesn't matter what your symbol is, but um, your sign, you know, to your spirit guides, you know, to say, please give me that extra protection. Do it before you go to bed. Do it when you wake up in the morning. Do it on your afternoon break at work. Um, nobody needs to see, nobody needs to know. Um, sometimes it's like there's a lot of kind of, um, there's a lot of fear energy around. And I feel that you turn on the TV and there's fear on the TV, um, especially the news. Okay. And it's like, these are not real. These stories are not real. They are stories made up to keep the control. Okay. So, yeah. So just, just be aware of this kind of energy around and know that you just need to um, put up that protection. There is a large amount of money around you. And I feel that this is coming your way. And you do have the 10 of pentacles. It's around the middle of the week. So it feels as if there's going to be um, very good, um, it's like um, an influx of money or an influx of, um, you know, it's like offers of work or um, things like that. I can see that you are ready to go forward though. And I feel that this is to do with kind of your ambitions. Okay, it's like you wanna take things further. You wanna take things to another level and you're already successful, but you wanna do more. There seems to be you know, this kind of big surge towards that new kind of fired up energy. Okay, I'm getting excited for you. Okay. Um, there seems to be, you've got the high priestess and you could say high priest, high priestess, um, the masculine and feminine energy there. Um, and this to me feels as if know your power, understand your power, understand that you are manifesting your future all the time whether you're intending to do that or not in which case you have to be more positive all the time okay because whatever you concentrate on will get bigger okay and if you don't want um to have you know bad luck then don't think about it just i mean don't let it enter your head if it enters your head then quickly switch it to something else okay to another kind of um uh, it's like a, another wish, okay? Especially this week, I feel as if there's something going on this week with everybody, okay? Manifesting what it is that you want is going to be top priority at this time. You've got the wheel, okay? So the wheel is all about kind of, um, you know, things are moving, things are changing, things will not stay the same. There seems to be, um, you have got a purpose in your life and, that purpose is also on your own, okay? It might be with someone else, um, but it's also on your own. So I want you to show you these cards, okay? So this is kind of like a vision of where you need to be, where you need to be going. And it's kind of like, I'm going in this direction and spirit are, are right behind me, but this is my mission. But there's also a mission, maybe with another person, maybe meeting that person, joining with that person, um, you know, you and this person working together um, for another quest or another vision, okay? Right, so um, around the um, end of, um, very end of November, um, the end of November, I'm seeing um, taking a gamble, um, taking on a new project or a new job, okay? And this job is going to get you to um, earn more money, I feel that this earning of more money is going to be quite um, a, a, it's going to be quite a big task. It's going to be something that's going to take up time and energy, but it is something that is guaranteed money, guaranteed financial help, okay, that is greatly needed for you at this time. I feel that this will 
get the balance completely right, that you'll be able to weigh up everything. You've got two cards that indicate um, the balance. You've got the two temperance cards here. Okay, so the balance is going to be right back um, to where it should be. There may be some legal or official documents around you. This could be signatures on paper, contracts, um, stop doing something officially or getting your justice. I can see something to do with some travel plans um, and a balance coming for those travel plans um, getting things um, to, be, to be balanced and right, okay? So it's to do with fairness. So there's something to do with um, traveling, travel plans and, and fairness, okay? I'm seeing abundance around you, so don't be surprised if there's not um, a large amount of money coming to you. I feel as if this may just be a kind gesture that is coming your way. Somebody who just wants to do right um, by you, they feel that they want to do this for you. Um, and this is gonna make you very happy, very excited about that. We have the abundance card, okay, around you here. Okay, so um, this abundance energy is just at the right time. Like it just comes in at that particular time. So that's what I see around Librans. And that's what I see around um, all of the, the birth signs. I've done all the birth signs now. I'm sorry about having to slip in um, the Scorpio, but it saves me adding the first video to the other bit of the video. It's kind of, I would have had to ask Greg to do it because I'm so good at that. This way I can just um, upload the, the whole thing. Um, just to let you know that we have a big event coming up um, at um, the Wheat Sheaf in um, Swellcliff near Whitstable. Okay, it's called the Hungry Horse, and um, we're having a Christmas psychic supper. Um, so this is what is going on. Okay, so um, it's at the Hungry Horse. Um, you can take a screenshot at the details. Okay, so it's a three course meal or a two course meal. Um, the two course meal is 20 pounds, three course meal is 23 pounds. Um, kids, it's $4.99 um, or $5.99 for the uh, three courses. Um, it starts at 7 for 7.30, okay, and you will have a meal and then there will be entertainment. There will be um, a demonstration of mediumship with two mediums. We have Jill Page and we have Chloe Needham, okay, and they're both really good mediums and there'll be some lovely messages coming from your loved ones um, for Christmas. You can book a table if you want to, um, a table of four, a table of six or table of eight. Um, if you've got more than that, then that's okay as well. Um, the payments are, go to PayPal and it's guidingangels at btinternet.com or you can go to my website, which is psychicalley.net. Um, if you wanted my bank details, my bank account, then you just contact me. There's a deposit of 10 pounds um, when you're booking your places, and then the rest of the deposit is um, at least two weeks before, maybe 10 days before. Okay, so um, if anybody wants to attend this, um, these tickets are selling out fast. So, um, you know, let us know. Okay, there's more details on um, my Facebook page, um, Psychic Alley One to One. Okay, you can go there or Alison James. All right, so. Um, we're also going to be at the Smugglers, um, and that is in Hearn, in Hearn Bay. Um, that is on Friday, the 26th of November, um, start time seven o'clock. The readings there are £15 each um, for a 20 minute reading. There's going to be a variety of readers there, so um, feel free to pop down. Um, it's a lovely pub, a lovely uh, venue. So really nice landlord, really nice people and atmosphere. Um, so yeah, just pop down and uh, on Friday evening and uh, we'll be doing readings down there. So um, if you are a pub around the Kent area and you think maybe this is something for you, it's a free entertainment night. So all you do is book a night that you're usually quiet and then we come and make it busy for you. We do all your posters for you. Uh, we give you all the tools to advertise it within the pub and around the pub. And we also do advertising too. So you might get some new customers. So um, anyway, 
take care everybody if you wanted a one-to-one -one reading please go to psychicalley.net and um, I'll be able to help you there okay take care everybody have a wonderful week bye for now